Things have been going well for Grenoble, and today we play Olympic Marseille. We'll check out highlights from that match, and then we play Rhymes in the French Cup quarterfinals, I believe is where we're at. So let's get into the intro. We also have passed through the midseason transfer window, so we have a few moves and new players to look at there. So let's roll the intro, come back real quick with highlights, then we'll catch you up on uh, other scores in the run-in since last episode, new players, and uh, then we'll get into today's match. Hey guys, RC here. Welcome back to our Journeyman Save FM21. This is episode nine. Let's take a look at Marseille highlights. Pekarinen breaks the club assist record with that assist to Ibarra. That's his 15th on the season, and that is a new club record and gave us a 1-0 lead. Martinez takes the pass from Pekarinen, rounds the keeper, beats him at the near post. There's another assist for Pekarinen. And Martinez with his first goal of the match, 2-0 to Grenoble. Toure punts it out, but it's cleared by Nemec right back to Garcia over the top. Martinez runs onto it, and that is a brace for the Loney striker, and he leads the club in goals. That's a three-goal advantage. Ibarra goes back post to Nemec, the center back, and it's 4-0 in the 84th minute. Olympic Marseille would get one back here. Moulin, Moulin goes to the touchline, squares it into Ba. Nimic's the one beaten, and Yuxel can't make the save. 4 1 final. They did have more shots, but we had more on target. So let's take a look at the scores real quick since last episode. Uh, that was the 2 0 loss to PSG. Uh, so against uh, Boulogne, we beat 2 1. Montpellier, a 2 1 win. 3-2 over Olympic Lyon in the 11th round of the French Cup. Uh, I guess four, five, six rounds isn't enough. Uh, Ren, a 2-1 win there. Chateau, 4-1 win and another 4-1 victory in the league. So we're on a pretty good run of form here. We've got uh, six wins on the bounce. Uh, the only loss to PSG. Uh, the friendly I don't count, but that's the last league loss going all the way back to Reims. Uh, rhymes back at the end of September. A little over four and a half months since our last league defeat, not counting PSG. So good run of form. You'll notice a name popping up in there. I'm Heinrich Mulling. So let's take a look at the transfer window. Just a reminder, we did sell Abdullah Guzel. He was one of our veteran players, but he goes to Tranmere for 25 million. Uh, 30 years old, and since he's gone to Tranmere, he has played in three games coming off the bench. Uh, he was not playing for us at all. So Heinrich Mulling, we knew about. We had signed Degrassi, Mulling, and Vander Hayden. Uh, we talked about them last episode, but Mulling has been uh, an ever-present position at that attacking left winger. So that uh, has been a big help. Taking a look at him, uh, two league goals and two cup goals in eight matches. So he has been playing very well and is really contributing in the early days. Right at the transfer window, we did make two new acquisitions. And I'm going to have a question for you guys to let me know in the comments on one of these. The first guy we brought in was a reserve keeper, Bryce Durumbia from Florentina. He cost us 11 million up front, 13 and a quarter million overall. He's 24 years old with 35 national caps for Ivory Coast, uh, valued at 9 million, and he's on 169,000 a week. Three star potential, two and a half star current. Not the greatest rating, but his ratings as, as a keeper are actually very good, and he does slot in as our number two current ability. Uh, potential. He's pretty maxed out. He can improve just a little bit, but I think he's a better overall keeper right now than Aguiar and certainly better than Vasher. So we're probably going to look to move Vasher on, and then Aguiar could be expendable uh, if Durumbia pans out. Durumbia, I had to pause recording there. I got a phone call, but 
Uh, anyway, just kind of finishing up on Derumbia. I think he'll be a good uh, number two and uh, likes to use long throws to start counterattacks. I like that. Uh, and then the other person we brought in right at the end of the window was Dennis Diallo. So here's where my question to you guys comes in. Diallo comes in from Borussia Mladenovic, three and a half million. He is a 20 year old German, capped four times at the U21 level, and he's valued at 3.9 million, three and a half star potential. And he came up through the Mladenovic system, went out on loan one year, and uh, then had uh, scored seven goals, ten assists uh, for Mladenovic's second team last year and uh, was actually starting, uh, coming off the bench for the first team this year. Uh, but we sign him, and uh, he is with uh, our second team, but we have him registered. So he's already made one appearance. So here's what was interesting. So you remember our goalkeeper, right? And that would be Khan Yuxel, right? So we signed him. He came in and then immediately we got the email that he was unsettled and there were certain things he wanted. He wanted a vacation. He wanted a player signed to help him settle in. So I have done, I've gotten this before and I never could find a player. And, and I signed, I remember one save. It may have been FM 20, may have been this year, but I signed three or four players from his nation and they never helped him settle in. So in this one, I looked around. We, we actually went in and looked at his player card. Where does it show us who he wants us to sign or who he wants us to consider signing that would make him feel better? Because there's nobody in his acquaintances, uh, his relationships, nothing at all. So anyway, I sign Diallo. And then right after signing him the next day, I get, uh, oh, Yuxel settled in now and signing Diallo really helped. How do you know who to sign to do that? Or is it just a crapshoot? That seems really stupid if it's a crapshoot. So anyway, but Diallo, we get a good player. Uh, he is a cent central mid. He can play central mid. Uh, he can mark. He can pass. He's probably one of our better actual defenders there. Uh, still fifth on the depth chart in current ability, but he's right up there in the mix in potential. Ibarra, of course, plays out on the right wing. Garcia, Pekaranen are two guys that are big in the middle. So he's going to be in the mix. I just need to get him developed a little bit, but he'll have he'll start seeing minutes and uh, he'll, he'll get some playing time, but probably more next year. But he is depth that we were looking for. And then, of course, we also have another midfielder that will be joining end of the season. Uh, again, he can mark decently, good passer. So that gives us some good depth there as well, four and a half star potential. So I think we've addressed our central mid. But let me know in the comments about signing players to help people settle in. I, I don't understand it. I mean, I understand the concept. I just don't understand the principle of it on how you know who to look at or, I mean, who to even look at, right? I mean, shouldn't they give you a list of players? Can't that, you know, is there a way to get them to recommend players? I have no idea. Anyway, that's enough of that. We won, we, uh, we won the uh, league match, but let's get into Rhymes in the French Cup quarterfinal. All right, we're going to go with Yuxel in goal, a back four of Fran, Pollock, Nemec, and Quinonez. Ibarra drops back into the mid because Ngano is injured. Uh, Garcia will partner up. Mulling really shouldn't be starting this game, but we don't have much of a choice uh, with Ibarra being and Nagano being uh, out. Uh, Gomez will come in on the right side. Arudia and Martinez up top. We've got a lot of guys that are fitness concerns, quite a few guys just coming back from injury. Uh, we are pretty thin right now. As big a squad as we have. Let's go with the revenge factor. They seem to like that. We had about 9,000 tickets sold for this one. So at least there will be some fans in attendance. We would like to see this getting to be a sellout. 
Ibarra takes a crack from range inside the second minute mark. Nothing happening on that one. But it was a chance at least. And in the midfield, it's Park Ye Sung Sung uh, and for Rhymes. And they are on the attack here. Hopefully our defense can posture up. Uh, near post, Yuxel didn't even go for it. That could have turned disastrous. Pretty defensive measure here. Ah, that was not good. We're just a smidge off on trying to get those balls over the top. Ibarra threads it through, and Arudia, not a good finish. Right at the keeper, he drops on it. And Ibarra, not the best defensive midfielder. Oh, and Quinones, I don't know. I think Atubu ran into him, but the foul is called. It's going to be a penalty attempt for Akolo. Can Kanyuskel be big here? And he goes the wrong way. And it's Grenoble nil rhymes one in the 14th minute. We're going to go ahead and demand more again. Don't need to re-see that. Nunez looks like he took a little bit of a knock. Because he is tired early on. And we are just not creating much of anything here. Fran goes up for it, but it goes two rhymes. A good stab away by Fran. There's the outlet to Mulling. And he paces up the left flank. Look at the moves there. All the way into the attacking zone, down to the touchline. He lets it go back to Fran off the clearance. Oh, somebody needed to get a foot there. Looked like an offsides call. We've got six shots, two on target, but we have not made anything count yet. We're going to demand more again. All right, Fran, there's Arudia. Squared in. Oh, and Gomez plays it over. Good effort. Mulling and Quinonez are tired. They're going to be early subs in this one. Ah, come on, boys. We're going to pump the fist. We've been the better team. Let's encourage them. Let's go back to being positive. All right, that one's cleared out. Nice job. Laid off to Mulling. Good through ball into Arudia. And a poor finish. Oh, that's just not good. All right, let's go ahead and make these subs early. Quinonez. I'm going to bring on Jimenez there. Ibarra or he's in the mid. Let's bring on Pekarannan now. That gives us our best guy out there. And I'm going to go ahead and do a triple sub here, guys. I hate to do it this early, but we need, we're need we going to bring all fresh legs on. We're going to encourage them. All right, Pekarannan, our set-piece specialist. And it's Gomez, his third of the season, and that pays immediate dividends as we equalize in the 60th minute. Pecker ran in our set-piece specialist. Gomez runs onto that. Very, very nice. And we're up to 15 shots to three. All right, there's a header out. Come on. We need somebody to make a play here, fellas. Again, the team's been playing well. Oh, my goodness. Harris with a left-footed shot. I don't know. Could Yuxel not see that one, maybe? That's pretty far out, too, right? Yeah, I guess uh, Yuxel may have been a little screened by Jimenez and Akolo there. All right, we're going to demand more. Pekka Rannan, 
near post that goes high we get a second attempt off the corner it falls but then cleared away and we'll pick up another corner come on guys we need to put one of these in the net it's an outswinger and that header goes right into Jimenez's hands he holds on to it I'm going to go up to attacking here. Come on, come on. Oh, good clearance. A Tubu got a foot on it for them, for Rhymes, and I thought that was going to be in the net to end this game. Oh, we need a good header clearance and a counter here. Oh, they're wasting time. All right, there's the header out. Arudi is on to it. It's two on two. Plays it around. Oh, Martinez. No, that was a horrible ball. And there's the finish by Arudia for his 11th. Pekaranen with another assist, breaking his own club record that we hinted at earlier, we talked about earlier. And we've equalized again at two. We're going to stay attacking here. Come on. I need some defense. What happened? Oh, I thought I didn't even see him with the ball. I thought there was a foul called. I thought the ball went past him and they were running over towards the official. I was like, what the hell is that? <laughs> oh, they're just moving the ball around so well. Oh, he cut inside. What a save by Yuxel. Tell you what, I'm going to come back to positive now. Let's encourage him. Come on. 84th minute. Oh, they play it way out. I think there was an offsides there. Yeah. Caught him in an offsides position. That's good. They make a sub. Well, we have we have owned this game, and yet they are they are controlling the highlights for the most part. All right, knocked away once. <laughs> Come on! Oh, through ball to a two boo. How did he beat Yuxel there? Oh, that is ridiculous. That's got to be the winner in the 91st minute. I don't know how he scored that. I really don't want to watch it again because it was obviously a sublime finish. All right, we've got to pull one back here. Into the box. And the keeper makes the save. He was looking top bins there, but he's a defender. And that's going to be it. We get eliminated in the quarterfinals. Three to two in a game that we dominated. I'm going to point the finger. I'm going to hands together. Yep, not good enough. Not good enough. Havra was up 3 0, and Sasho Montbelliard scored three goals. I thought they were three up. Somebody was up by three. Maybe I just didn't see the whole score. Anyway, they went to penalties. Golly. Quarterfinal. All right. We were expected to reach the quarterfinal. So at least the board will be happy with that. But we do miss out on a chance at silverware. Three points behind Lil. Seven points in front of Rhymes. So that actually plays to our favor. They beat us here. But we are solidly in third. Does third get us Champions League? It puts us in the third qualifying round for Champions League. So, yeah, that's that's where we want to get is in a Champions League. Uh, Euro Cup, I mean, yeah, I think we need to be pushing for Champions League. With the way that we finished last year, the way we've been playing this year, I think that's what we need to shoot for. No more cup matches to look at. Let's kind of uh, come back here for... Let's come back for Red Star Highlights and Breast. Sixth position in the table. That'll give us a good run of games. 
for that match. And then we can look at possibly the season finale against Nims and Havra. So let's look at that for the next two episodes to end the season. Guys, hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you like what I'm doing. Subscribing keeps you up to date on daily Football Manager content. And we will see you guys next time. Thanks so much for dropping by. Take care.